Probably the coolest stray cat I've ever met. Been chilling with us all night. Well, friendly guy too. There go. 10,000 likes, I'll come back out and I'll keep them. Welcome to the fascinating world of traffic signals. Tonight, we are back at this intersection here at Bayview in Biloxi, Mississippi. And yes, y'all saw in the last video that this controller got swapped out. Well, uh, the new one went bad, had issues, started power cycling like crazy. So we put the EPAC 300 back in to run the intersection for the weekend. Have a new one in the truck. We're gonna go ahead and swap this guy out. And then we also have this cable that needs a constant supply of 120 for a license plate reader out here that we're gonna get wired back into the power so that the police department can have their cameras back online and working. And then we have to go ahead and finish getting all the radars installed out in the field and then we can program those tonight. So y'all stay tuned for that. All right, so first things first, I need to go ahead and pull all the data and upload it to this computer real quick. I know I've already done that, but because I updated it to a newer firmware than the controller that I have in the truck to swap out with, I need to go ahead and re-pull all the data from this one. And then I can actually use and configure the other controller with tactics on this computer and get everything swapped over. So that one went by pretty quick. It's already saved just about everything. And now I can grab the other controller from the truck and start transferring all the data from the laptop to it. So also here's a reference. Stop doing dumb things in front of cops. All right, so we have our used but capable M60 here. Got it hooked up to the laptop. Now I need to go ahead and preferably we're going to default this controller. I'll turn my headlamp on or off so y'all can see this a little better. Uh, but I need to press utilities. <clears throat> you'll see six over here we're gonna hit load default and then load current mode is what we're gonna press is e if you're enjoying this video make sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe let's get right back into it. and there we go the uh, default perimeters have been loaded we can go back out of it and now we need to hit utilities configure ports over here port 2 com and we're gonna check a five right here. And that's changing the baud rate of this port right here. I'll put my headlamp back on so y'all can see. But it's changing the baud rate of the port here. And it's matching the baud rate of my port on my laptop. So now that my laptop can communicate to this traffic signal controller. So now I can go into here, click here on 110 in Bayview. That's the intersection we're at. This is its configuration. We're gonna hit configure. And it's gonna make sure that it matches the, the port. And as you can see, it says access data configuration successful. We'll hit okay. We can close out of that one. It now matches through the 3.57B, matches the firmware of this controller. So now that this laptop can actually talk to this controller. Now we'll pull on this, you go to database menu, right click on all data and we are going to download. And that's gonna download all of the data from the laptop, from this controller here that's existing into this intersection. And it's going to download it onto this new controller. And this is gonna give us our TS2 capabilities so that it can communicate and work with those Wavetronics radars. So once this is complete, we'll go ahead and swap it out with this older guy and get this one set up to run with those radars here. But why did they hit them hard over there? They got a couple cops over there now, and I'm pretty sure they're searching that man's vehicle. I'm telling you, just don't be doing dumb things. You can't do two illegal things at once. That's a life lesson. If you're gonna speed, don't speed with drugs. Remember that, kids. So made a cute little friend. Come here. You want some water? Wish I had a better bowl for him, but maybe that'll do. I'll leave it to you right here. You kind of friendly. Do you want to play? All right, so now all the data from the laptop that's from the old controller has been moved over to this controller currently. So we can go ahead and pull out my power cable from this controller here. And now we can go ahead and put the intersection into flash. There is cross traffic, but he's got the green light and he's going through it. So let's put the intersection into flash. It's now flashing out there in the field and we can go ahead and start disconnecting this controller here. So let's rip these pin connectors out. 
to hook up all our connectors now. That is a joke, by the way, these are supposed to run in intersection for 30 years, but it seems like we're having few issues with them lately. And comment down below if you're a tech as well, and if you have issues with these Unic R Simmons M60 controllers, tomato, tomato, Unic, that other one that y'all are calling a Chinese brand, is just Simmons signal side of their company that they have transferred over to. So that is the case, but we have this one up and it should be working. We'll go ahead and take the intersection out of flash now. Okay, it's about to boot itself out of flash. Let's see if it does. Should have, but it's not. That's cute. Let me work on this real quick. All right, so we were having issues with this controller, but I went ahead and actually seemed to have been this pin connector here, but I went through all the pin connectors and I sprayed down some contact cleaner in them killed power to it as well and just cleaned them up a little bit and now it is inputting and outputting like it should and i'm going to go ahead and get all the data transferred back over to it because i defaulted it beforehand and checked it all out when it still wasn't working that's when i pulled the pin connectors off and sprayed some contact cleaner in so redoing all the data to this controller to have it set up properly but then it will run this intersection just fine. So in a previous video, I was showing off a tool and kind of stating how I cut these little steel lockout tag outs. And for reference, that's like either emergency purposes, say this meter's mounted onto a signal controller cabinet over here, I would need to cut this tag and be able to remove that meter. Or in this instance here, they had a tag on our breaker panel. It's getting cut and it's out of our way. And now we can actually use this breaker panel to kill power to the cabinet when we need to. All right, so the first thing you wanna do on this Click 650 to set it up is you wanna to want to enable a BIU. So you come down, click on the BIU, you'll hit the over button right here. I already had it checked, but as you see, you press the over button again, it'll end up checking off the BIU and depending on which one you're using, that's the one you'll check off using BIU 9. So that's what we're gonna use. Now press this. We're all good and out of there. And then another little fun fact here, or fun little tip on this, so the stop bar devices, when there's a load on the, on the devices or on the 650, this indication light, if you turn it back off, you'll see that it just slowly turns off and slowly comes up. That means you have a device connected to that port. Over here, you'll see it just flicks off real quick. Now the advanced radars, they, they do it a little bit different, but the stop bar ones, when you turn it on and off, very easy to see that you have one hooked up to this port. So while they're installing them, you can do that to check your ports and see which ones they have it hooked up to. That's why I don't care to label my cable until after the fact. All right, we are currently connected to the Wavetronics radar, specifically this one closest to the cabinet, going across the street, past this tree to them three through lanes over there. The only issue with programming these radars is that you have to have some kind of traffic out there, some kind of vehicle traffic. Heck, I could have a guy just walk around and it'll pick him up just fine, uh, but you do have to have some kind of movement out there for the radars to pick it up, and then you can draw on your lanes and get them programmed in there. It's the only downside to radars compared to cameras on the setup installation. And we do have a vehicle coming up to the approach right there. As you see him drive through, you can see a bunch of little pings line up on his lane that he just drove through. So we can get started and get one of the lanes configured onto this. So I'm gonna draw out a lane. Pretty simple. My finger wouldn't slip a little bit. And now I'm still gonna need somebody to come around and get hung up at the stop bar there so I can see where the stop bar is. And once I know where one lane is, I can kind of draw in the rest pretty easy. I'm gonna have him drive around. He's gonna pop a U-turn real quick and get in the lane closest to us and stop at the stop bar over there. So when he does that, you'll be able to see him pull up on the screen right here for the radars. As you can see, he is coming in a little bit and let's watch him appear on the radars you'll see a bunch of pings and there he is he's kind of hitting the lane we have drawn out but we can get that a bit more straightened up and when he stops at the stop bar sorry 
but a little easier to do with both hands but you'll see he has stopped at the stop bar and you can insert a stop bar and that gives you your lane structure of where he's at I'm kind of straighten it up even keep right clicking on it my bad guys I'm trying to do it with a camera in front of my face but you get your lane structure, you'll see that he's straight in the lane there. And now I'm going to have him hop over and just check every other lane. But at this point, I can go ahead and add a lane. Go ahead and reverse the lane because we're going this direction. Do have to have him face in the proper direction. And get them lined up. So we centered these up a little bit better. He is now in the even further lane away from us. So he's gonna ride down that one and that one is looking great so far it's about in the center as he pulls up and hits the stop bar so now we can go ahead and go to the option two on here and we're gonna add auto zones right here and now you can hit little nodes and start drawing zones inside the lanes you have created and this is going to be what actually picks up the vehicle itself and then changes over to the controller and locks in a call to the traffic signal controller for you to get a green light. I'm gonna get all these zones drawn up and I'll show you the verification process. As you do this, this is gonna be phase six, but we need to come in here and uncheck all the channels from the zones here. And we're gonna set up all of these over onto channel six. And that means when any of these zones get a vehicle present on them, it will put in a call for phase six once we put it into the 650 itself and it's going to know that these are all pretty much the same zone just different lanes we do have another car you can already see the truck sitting there the other car just hit this one as they stopped on the stop bar and all that they were shown and verified as well but this is pretty much the verification process as a vehicle is present inside the zone and it is highlighted it is putting in a call for channel six which is gonna end up putting in a call for phase six once we have that set up as well. All right, so you get onto your web browser and you connect directly to the local device, which is this Click 650 right here. And I've already gone through and I have discovered the two matrix sensors, which are the two stop bar sensors we have up. He's getting that last one and third one that we have at the center section set up now. Now we can go into the channels tab. We're gonna be using phase two. We're gonna be using phase four over here and we're going to be using phase six so set those up we have the radar found for phase two sensor channel two and do the same for phase six down here channels of six if i can click it hit save channel maps which is down here and then we can go into our verification and anytime a vehicle hits these two you'll see them light up red meaning that it is receiving a call and there's a vehicle present and now it will talk through that sdlc cable from the 650 here to this traffic signal controller cab controller right here and when it does so it will lock in a vehicle call for them to get a green light so now we can unlatch phase two and six and they should get a call on detection instead of a hard call on the door so once a vehicle ever comes through this intersection we'll see it actually light up and work properly. Man, I tell y'all what, my kids would be ecstatic if I brought this little kitty home. Say a little cat. About the coolest stray cat I've ever met. Been chilling with us all night. Well, friendly guy too. Look at him. 10,000 likes, I'll come back out and I'll keep him. Oh, look at you. 10,000 likes, you tell him you need it. You need it so you can go home with me. Ain't that right? Oh. And guys, once he gets that last radar hooked up, all we have is a little bit of dress up work we gotta do here and get everything looking proper. And then we are out of here from this intersection. So as always, I hope y'all learned something. And if you did, make sure to hit the like button and thanks for watching.